to the Ross Patterson Revolution. Brought to you by GhostBed.com. Storms are coming, James. Heading for New Orleans. Well, there is a man current. We're supposed to go there this weekend. Uh, Does not look like that is going to happen. And there is a man currently, I'm watching the live feed, who is swimming down Canal Street. This almost has to be seen to be believed right now. That would be fun, (laughs) kind of, no? Definitely oh, can't land this. in it. Yeah. Ooh, now, but what's in that water, huh? Uh, what isn't in that water? Oh, Margaritas, really? <laughs> daiquiris. Um, you might have, if you're watching the video show, subscribe on YouTube if you're not. You probably got a glimpse of the summer Swayze teas. Sorry, these have sold out, but they're back at ledbyiron.com. So go and get them while they're, I, I think there's only like, I don't know, 40 left or something crazy. We can't keep making these. I mean, I guess we could. Yeah, why not? Uh, it's too much. It's too much, you know? I, I like it's the fact that we Swayze? do shit that's limited. Oh, okay. Limited, where it's just like, hey, man. Because I don't think it. there's such thing as too much Swayze in the world, and I think that you should feel the same way. I don't either. I don't either. But with, with our weekend more than likely canceled, sure. I say once we get, you know, in, in two months, once we get everything back, from customer service and sure. refunds and all of that stuff. Two months, we go that's to, soon. Yeah, yeah, isn't it? Uh, I think we go to another event. Sure. Where there's another storm. Uh, storm Area 51, they can't stop all of us. This is the storm that we need to go to. If you've not heard of this, on Facebook, 220,000 people have signed up to do a late summer raid on Area 51 in the Nevada desert to, parentheses, see them aliens. Um, that's what we want. Hashtag, they can't stop all of us. They can't stop all of us. They can't stop, is won't stop real? all of us. This is real. Area 51, also known as Homie Airport. Well, what's up, homie? Uh, damn, homie. Um, they're infamous, obviously, for the alien conspiracy that happened in the 50s. Sure. Obviously, you know, what, uh, what happened with the, the Roswell UFO, in, uh, UFO incident. Right. Which may or may not be true. Um, either way, I want to see some fucking aliens. I've, I've been there. And right. we did it as a, a joke for the show. But, like, dude, 10 people stormed out of nowhere and with guns saying, we're going to fucking kill you. And where were you when that you were right at the gate right, or you were walking yeah, where, up? Where you think it is. And okay. there's like a passageway that just, you know, it's marked with signs like you can't go and all this other shit. Is you're this like, where they're saying they're going to storm right there? Yeah, Area 51. So, y- you know, there's a road in like, you know, where, okay. where, where it is. Uh, a bunch of people have been around the outskirts with uh, long telephotic lenses. Is that right? Is telephoto? It, is it telephoto? Is it telephoto or telephotic? No, telephoto. Ah, look, if you're in the past tense of it, you are. Sure. I'm not great with words. Never, never. What's in that cup? Never. Uh, <laughs> I've, I've been drinking. Uh, this is straight Jameson. Um, after the past few days I've had. It, it it's, is it, early. It is 1 p.m. Folks. on a Wednesday and I'm having straight Jameson. Mm. <laughs> You could have made me Jamie, a hurricane. Jamie, quit it. Yeah, it could have. Quit. What I know is this. I support all of it. Whoever is out there at home and is signed up for Storm Area 51, they can't stop us. They can't stop all of us on Facebook. I'm here for it. I'm thinking, again, this is not until September 20th. Today's, we're recording this on July 10th. By the time I get all the money back from, from customer service and all the shit, I think... We put it all into there and we go, right? I want to, it's because it's at 3 a.m. It's scheduled for 3 a.m., which is Ooh. right when daddy gets going. Sure. Like that's, that's my best time of, mm-hmm. of life in this life. 11 p.m. to 5 a.m. is my favorite time in life. That's when I'm the happiest. That's where I'm like the most enjoyable. 
of my day. A lot of people are morning people. And they say, hey, man, I need breakfast. I love breakfast. I want to get up. I want to have a run. I want to do this shit at 5 a.m. Um, I look at Mark Wahlberg's schedule, and I want to stab myself with a, with a very that dull butter extreme. knife. That one's extreme. That one's extreme. The Rock. I saw The Rock's schedule, and I'm like, my God, man. I, I, no, no prayer on this earth. Are you having fun? I no. just want to, I want to look at The Rock and say, hey, man. Just look me in the eyes. I know you're richer than Jesus and you're more famous than probably Jesus at this point, Mm -hmm. you know, Uh, because I don't think I don't think Jesus is getting a lot of love these days uh, as much as the rock. If Jesus was alive, I doubt he'd have as many Instagram followers as the fucking rock. Look that up. Look up the rock social media numbers. Yeah, no, you're right. More more people follow the rock than Jesus. If Jesus were still here, you're right. But I bet if you looked him in the eyes and you said, hey, ma'am, are you genuinely happy every day? Not one prayer. And this is what I was thinking the other day. So people like Jennifer Lopez, mm-hmm. right? Yep. They look amazing. So rested and hydrated every single day. Um, Jennifer Garner, people like this that look like that good, The Rock. They don't have the kind of fun that I consider like life fun. You know what I mean? Yeah. They're not eating food, staying up a little bit late, uh, hanging out with friends. Um, and letting loose. No. Right? No. So you have to choose. You have to choose between like looking great Mm -hmm. at a certain age and having people be like, oh my gosh, how do they do it? Or you have to have a good time. Yep. And so speaking of that, the good time is around 3 a.m. Clearly, these guys are in on it. I'm in on it. Um, I, I even saw a Kevin Hart interview too, where they were like, what's the, what's he like? What's the rock like working with him? Somebody like that every day. And he goes, man, he takes a lot of naps, you know, and he's always late uh, to set. Yeah. 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 Was he joking? No. And, and the reason why is to, to be the rock and to do that every morning, you got to wake up at like fucking four. He's got a team of people that feed him all that shit. He's got to find somewhere in the day to sleep after working out and doing all of this shit Ooh. to be the rock. Um, Kevin Hart's like, dude, I'm not even mad at it. He's like, I, I get it. And he goes, he's one of my best friends and I love right. it. But if you look at his schedule, where else do you sleep? Like master of cat naps, cat naps. Uh, but no. here, the people at this Roswell event, these are my people. These are the people that I get In down more with. ways than one. Uh, these are your people. And all of them, man. I, there are certain things that you read in life where you're like, fuck man, maybe they've got it figured all out. These These 220,000 people do starting at 3 a.m. Starting at 3 a.m. On this run outside of Area 51 to see them aliens, to grab them. Right. That's that's everything I want in this life. Aliens, late nights. You think they're going to get one? I think they're going to get one. And I think once they get in, right, uh, hear me out on this, okay? Because you're not going to be tearing the arms and legs off the body. At all. That's not going to be a thing. That's crazy. It's not like Gaddafi in Libya sure. who got raped to death and then they tore apart his bodies in the streets. It's a real thing and there's video footage of it. Definitely wouldn't recommend anyone at home looking that up. But I with won't. this alien, I think it's going to be more of a celebration of life uh, uh. and other life forms rather than I want to tear some arms and legs off. Right. So logistically looking at it, right? Right. Area 51 is about 88 miles from Vegas. Okay. Perfect. That's almost too perfect. It's like an hour and a half. An hour. If that. If yeah. that. But speed limit's probably 80. You're going to kick that up to 88 to avoid, avoid the, the, the po-po. Always. We always do. Because they're not going to pull you over for going eight miles an hour over, mm-hmm. right? Boom. You're there in a fucking hour. So by the time they storm this, get the alien out of there, you're looking at five that's Dre's, baby. That place is just fucking opening, dude. That place is just fucking opening. Can you imagine? Yeah. Like partying at Dre's. I and, can. With the alien. All these fucking dirty ass motherfuckers roll in. It'd be great. <laughs> Going in and celebrating the, another life form of, of, of this alien. Because you get him up on the dance floor. Uh, I want to see a hologram of Vici in the booth. Because I think you need him back for this. Um So we can start. The good thing is about these people, because usually people go about plans and fucking storming castles or streets or buildings or fucking white women protest of of dumb shit on the beach. 
they go about it and they're like, oh, we need to do this now, like 24 hours, right? Not planned out enough. Shit doesn't really fucking work. Now, this, these people, they're saying, hey, bro, take time off of work. Find sure. a babysitter. Sure. Find uh, travel, probably travel, travel, gloves, rubber, enough, like whatever you're going to carry the alien in because they're going to pass that thing around. They're setting this up in advance as an event. This is, I, I'm going to dare to say this is our next Burning Man, right? You pull an alien body out of there. Uh, boom, strap it to the roof of the car. Right. Like an old station wagon, you know, mm-hmm. sit it upright. Uh, oh. I, I don't know what kind of weight's going around in there. Guess it just what I've seen and speculated. Mm-hmm. I'm going to, I'm going to say 70 pounds. Mm-hmm. I'm going to say that alien's 70 pounds, put a couple, you get a couple sticks, a couple boards, uh, lodged in on the back of it to keep it propped up. Mm-hmm. So that way the alien, you could see it riding into Vegas, right? And then everybody's kind of following in this caravan along to Vegas. You pull in, doesn't matter how rich or famous you are, or even if you're staying there, you can always valet your car. You can throw the keys anywhere to any hotel on the strip, go to Dre's, boom. Keys, you. Mm-hmm. Uh, also gonna need a box cutter to, to cut the ropes down from the alien body uh, that was keeping it held to the top of the roof. VIP. If there was ever a case in this life to give VIP to someone or something, mm-hmm. I would say it's, it's whatever alien they dig up out of here. Um, last inanimate object or non-human, I think that, that's gotten VIP bottle service in Vegas, probably Air Bud. This is going to take more precedence over that, over the dog, and we're going to get the fucking alien there in Dre's. Now, if you haven't been, have you been there? To Dre's? Yeah, at 5 a.m.? Mm-hmm. So last time I went, I don't know if your experience was anywhere near this. Probably not. A lot of Germans. Completely different people. Yep. Shirtless. A lot of shirtless Germans oiled up. Mm, I the were MDMA guidos, was but yeah, pure. Sure. It was not stepped on. They did not put meth in there or anything else. Pure MDMA there. Uh, with an alien body above you on the dance floor with pure MDMA. Mm-hmm. Holy shit. Right. Next level. With Avicii spinning a hologram of Avicii, sp- not even spinning, just tapping a key, like tapping yeah, his yeah. computer. <laughs> this exact computer. He's tapping keys on his computer. Let's make it realistic. Yeah, let's make it realistic. Tapping on the keys of this computer in there. Mm-hmm. Whoa, sometimes I get a good feeling. So uncomfortable right now. And then the, that you raise that alien up above your shoulders. Oh my God, dude. That would be the greatest night of my life. Right. And uh, right. I vote to throw all funds of the family into there. Uh, of our family? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, uh, of okay. the family. Because this was our oh. family funds that were going to New Orleans. Now it's not. Oh, okay. Okay. So um, this is all going to go back to, to right. September 20th. Storm Area 51, they can't stop all of us. Um, part of this, look, one of the biggest people who's advocating this is Smiley Khan, uh, which look, I don't know much about his work. It says that he's, uh, he streams himself on Twitch playing video games. Okay. So he's probably the, the, an expert in this, I would imagine richer than all of us. Yeah. And I imagine, uh, you know, anybody who plays video games probably knows a little more about aliens than us. So I'm I'm in. I'm I'm in on his whole shit. Sure. Um and then whoever else is there, obviously. But uh one of the one of the statements on here uh says if if we Naruto run, we can move faster than their bullets. Let's see them aliens. Naruto run. Yep. Some form of Japanese anime that's getting real big. Oh, now. Okay. okay. Kanye's into a lot of that stuff. Uh Japanese anime as well. So Okay. Clearly, that's where we are as a culture, and I'm, I'm here for it. Um, but yeah, I, you know, with 220,000 people, I don't think that there's enough guns um, that can stop that many people at once. I think the government's going to be a little underwhelmed. Um, and then uh, this is, and by the way, this story, this story has grown so big that Newsweek, this is a, in Newsweek right now, uh, they contacted, Newsweek just contacted Edwards Air Force Base in California which is the one that administers Homey Airport, um, they wouldn't respond for a comment to this. No. So 
I think they're probably playing in their own type of pushback. And uh, yeah, man, um, it's been a while since the CIA has, has released any documents regarding Area 51. 2015, we're looking at four years. Still no pictures of them, them aliens. Them aliens? Yeah, I want to see them. I want them, in, I want them out. I want them out of the buildings. I want them out of the formaldehyde. I want them out living their best lives. Uh, I think their skin is different than ours. Let's get them out. They're probably amphibious, right? Yeah. I imagine very similar to uh, uh, an, an alligator. Skin wise. Skin wise, yeah. Once you get them out of there, um, I think they're fine, man. I think they probably don't have to go back to into any form of, of liquid or fluid for a long time. Right. So I want to see this shake out. And uh, yeah, September 20th. Can't get here fast enough. Because we're going two months? It's two months, right? Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. I'm in. I'm all in on this. And uh, <laughs> whoever be... started this, congratulations. Go to Facebook if you want to join. Um, join the movement. Because that's, that's what this has become. Because Ross gonna... will be there. Yeah, I'll be there. I haven't seen anything. I haven't seen people on the internet get behind something like this since... I'd say Harambe, RMP. It's, it's, RIP, it's been three years. Mm, but uh, we're here. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go ahead and sign up now for some updates. All right. Well, on if you can f- see in our, in our wide, we've got, uh, we filled the pick. We got it. We, we got it. We filled the pick, you guys, and we put in what you wanted. Yeah. So okay. We told you if you subscribed on YouTube, um, and if you're not, you're just a fucking loser at this point, and you hate us, you hate yourself, you hate your families. Which is fine. Which is fine, fine, but subscribe on YouTube with the video show. We said, hey guys, you can vote on. We left a, an empty uh, frame up for a while. An ornate golden frame. Left it up for a while, and everybody was like, dude, I don't understand why that's empty. We said, hey, we want you guys to vote on what's going in there. You picked. Smoking Ben Affleck um, during his darkest period or his happiest. There's a lot of debate over what's going on with Ben Affleck in this picture. I'm saying he was so fed up with life and his family that he came outside, had a smoke, and this was his moment of peace and happiness. Others are saying opposite, that this is the most depressed he's ever been in his life. I see peace. Yeah. I see just total peace. Sig. Like I see glass half eyes full. Eyes closed, yep. just taking a minute before he goes back in with that boring ass garner. Yeah. And his normal boring life and tries to get through it. Yep. So, you know, I see peace. I see total peace. I there. do too. And uh, for everybody who, who sent that in, we did this for you. Congratulations. You get smoking Affleck in total peace. I'm, I'm seeing it half glass full, not half glass empty. Uh, also, I, j- I did just sign up for the Storm Area 51 that can't stop all of us. Mm-hmm. Currently, so it, they have set it up as a Facebook event. It's now up to 234,000 people that are going. And then there's another 262,000 that are interested. So oh my God. you're way over uh, uh, a half a million now at this point who are either going or are interested they can't stop all of us, you guys. No. So no. Uh, let's be there. Let's go. You can suggest friends, which is amazing. I, I'd love to find like family members that I haven't talked to in, in a long time and just invite them to this. Completely dead serious and be like, hey, man. Yeah. Did you mean to invite me to this? Like I have like a. I don't know. Did I? And just make it like really. Yeah. I have a 76 year old aunt who follows me on Facebook. Um <laughs> Which is super weird. I'd like to invite her and be like, hey, man, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. why don't you fucking, <laughs> why don't you pop on down with me? Uh, we can reconnect. I know I haven't seen you in 15 years. This would but be a great place of quiet. Yeah. Last time I saw you was at, re- at grandpa's funeral. Mm-hmm. Now I'd like to, to, to gather you for something a little bit more intimate. Sure. Uh, where we can really Something's reconnect. Something's close to my heart. Yeah, yeah. And get to know each other. <laughs> um, I always forget about that on Facebook that like older people have joined. Um, it's amazing that they still follow you in particular, but yeah, I can't believe it. I'm going to read that they're you. They're not like, God, you know, I'm going to read you my last post. Cause I freak, I forget, man, that these fucking people follow me. Um, cause here's the thing on, on your personal account, if you leave it public, which is mine is public sure. on my personal account, like you don't even really have to friend me. You can just follow it. Everything's yeah, yeah, yeah. public. It says that I'm followed here by 
an extra 5,305 people. Mm. And I've, I've maxed my friend list at 5,000. So, I mean, you're over 10,000 on a personal page. Sure. Right? <laughs> and I just write shit, middle of the night. Whatever happens, happens. I really don't really don't think about it. Right. Until now, when I'm thinking about what my 76-year-old aunt is thinking of, like, she doesn't have a lot of friends on here, probably 136. So this is not, this is beating the algorithm. This is definitely showing up in her feed. Sure. No, what was no it? lies is what I wrote last night. I got offered hash from a stranger when I was pumping gas tonight. I didn't buy it, but I did let him toss me a beige. <laughs> so that's, uh, and I put what like a- What are you talking about? I put a nice uh, uh, square, like one of those colored squares behind it. And it's, uh, it's a pool with like floaties. So it, lo- it looks like a happy thing. Toss you a beige. Now will toss she me a beige. Kn- now will she know, you know what I mean, what that is? I don't know, but I would I would imagine she would call her kids and be like, "Hey, did you read Ross's thing? What's a beach? What is a beach? What's how a B E E J? Because that's how I spelled it too, by the way. B E E J. J. I don't know, but I did let him toss me a beach. This was a real story, by the way. Uh, I went to get gas the other night, and um, people I, look. People the offer you too. weird weird shit. What's that? The it's a real story. The beach as well. Yeah, but I'm gonna. I'm, I'll get to that. I'll get to why I said, "Hey, you can toss me a beach." Okay, go ahead. I, lately, I've had it with life, you know, where mm-hmm. I'm just like I'm, I'm frustrated by everything. I've been saying a lot of ridiculous shit to people just out of not thinking or, or caring about what's going on. Sure. When a homeless person approaches you in a parking lot and pulls out tin foil with hash in it, old school tin foil with hash in it. Yeah. Right. Where you're just yeah. like, yo. And part of me was like, it's been a while since I've done hash. Maybe I'll take a little poke off of it. Sure. Then I'm like, man, I'm either going to have to put that on weed or go inside and buy cigarettes, roll them, put the hash on. It's a lot of work. And I was like, Mm. and nixed it. Um, And he was like, oh, man, I'm trying to gain money for whatever it was or whatever. And I was like, "Eh, you know, you could toss me a beach and I'll give you 80. Like. Kind of joking around. Uh-huh. Um, he did not seem to find it as funny as I did. Right. Um, and it was so, like, matter of fact, like a throwaway line of, like, look, man, for 80, you can just toss me a beach. Right. Very St. James Street, James. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I'm hearing it now. There I'm was a look of, yeah. like, fuck, man. And I don't, you know that, that half a second where you look in somebody's eyes and you're like, man, is he considering tossing me a beach for 80? Or, like, is he just... What I said has gone so far over his head that he's so disgusted where he's just like, I got to get the fuck out of here and try to figure out my life. Right. I don't know which one it was. But what I do know is I turned around, started pumping gas like nothing else happened. And I saw a lottery sign that said it was up to 180. And I was like, fuck, I'll buy a couple tickets. Sure. Didn't think anything about it until the following evening when I was like, oh, my God, dude. Remember that? Yeah. Yeah. And that's kind of like my life where I'll just say a bunch of weird shit. Not really on purpose, but it depends on where you caught me. And I'm like, eh, you can toss me a beach for 80. Like, let's get wet, hombre. You know? A mouth to mouth. A mouth to mouth. Very Uh, McConaughey. Yeah. And and, and also, I always say the word hombre on this show. I say it a lot in my books, At Night She Cries and and, uh, When Darkness Falls. I always say that phrase hombre a lot Mm -hmm. just because I think it's fucking hilarious. Right. Um, there was supposed to be what I thought was this huge Breaking Bad announcement last night between Aaron Paul and uh, Cranston. Uh-huh. Uh, I know they're doing a, uh, I think it's a sequel to the show movie. It's right. after Jesse had escaped, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I thought like, hey, maybe this is the announcement for that movie and they're getting together and they're like, hey, they're sh- they started showing pictures of themselves they're like, hey, this is going down or whatever. Um, they, they released it last night. They're doing a tequila. And that was what the big announcement was. Guess what it's called? Ombre? Two hombres. Two hombres? Yeah, I think it's called Dos Hombres. Dos Hombres? Yeah. Is that from the show or is that just I don't know, but on the on the bottle, if you look at it, if you pull it up at home, it's Dos just it's two hombres. donkeys on the bottle. And it's got this like very faded, cool like bottle. But yeah, they they announced they're doing a tequila company. Um, two dudes is basically what it's called. Yeah. Okay. Dos hombres. I like it. And uh, I like it. 
I, and let me double check that it's called dos hombres. Yeah, it is dos hombres. That's okay. It. Yeah. <laughs> I'll buy it. I'm in. Just you sold me. Naming your tequila company two, two dudes, dudes, man, is uh, two dudes one bottle. God, yeah, that's it's. I, look, I wasn't even mad about. I'm not a fan of like you keep rejuicing all these fucking franchises and shit that much. Yeah. So I, I was into the tequila. Um, I more say, into the name Dos Hombres though. Yeah, I guess I'm more into them uh, keeping it going, right? Keep riding off the Breaking Bad and taking that to a different place as opposed to like keeping Breaking Bad going, right? So I'm down with them doing other ventures as Jesse and do you know what I mean? Like right. I like them still being together. I think yeah. that's all really people want, right? We just want to know that they're still doing stuff maybe i was trying to think of the last time this has happened off of a bad. show right yeah. and i remember this is a few years ago i mean you want to talk about being way late to the game but the soup nazi opened up uh some soup restaurants called no soup for you yeah yeah now okay and yeah. go ahead and keep it and you know good for you yeah or like the the guy that owns the coffee shop or works at the coffee shop in friends who does do you know what i'm saying Gunth, gunther or whatever the hell white haired guy. No, you don't know who I'm talking no. about. Well, anyway, he's the one that always like anytime they do a friends, anything yeah. and they can't get any of the other ones. He's there, right? He's the one that's like keeping it going, opening a oh, coffee oh, shop, gotcha. yeah, like yeah. central perk, like ding, 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 ding. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, you know, sometimes it works out. Sometimes the people want it. And sometimes it's more the actor that wants it, right? Yeah. So I think with the Dos Hombres, the people probably wanted that a little more than this No Soup For You cafe. Yeah. I think that was more him being like, how do I? Speaking of friends, by the way, that was uh, one of the top stories this morning. What? Uh, Netflix is lost friends. Yes. They but lost friends in the office. Yeah. And they they're going up something else. What? They're, they're going to HBO Max. That's now a thing. So that's going to be a separate app that you get. That's going to have all of Warner Media's properties on it. Oh, Lord. Oh, yeah. Lord. I can't. We're starting to. Now we're starting to get back into. And I saw a story on this, too, where people are like cutting the cord. So cutting the cord now is actually starting to cost more than tv so we're fucking ourselves like you know what i'm saying so yeah, with all the apps paying yeah. if you just happen yeah. to get whatever 100%. right yep. and so now we've gotten back into a corner where it's about if you buy all the apps it's about 90 yeah i'm gonna so i'm gonna, to I'm gonna be and something i'm gonna be real as these i re-upped with dish i got i got a i got that lovely phone call of like hey we're gonna and i'm like you're not raising the rates brother you're not. Don't you dare. Yeah. Uh, well, I was like, look, well, I'll, I'll cut the cord. <laughs> and they're like, Dead good serious. luck. As soon as they hear that phrase, I know. It, it is panic triggers. But that's not going to work. The, my point is that's not going to work anymore now. Cause they're going to be like, go ahead, cut the cord motherfucker. Because all these things are creeping up to $20. It was $10. Now they're all creeping up to a brown $20 an app. If you get HBO, if you get Showtime, if you get, right. you know, and Netflix is getting up there. It's 14. Yeah. So it's getting up to twenty dollars as well, like yeah. And if you get premium Hulu or whatever else, right? Sling. Yep. So cutting the cord did it work for us this time? I guess that's the question. It did. So the 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 total that we pay on our dish bill for everything, like all of our shit, yeah, nine thousand fucking channels of sure nonsense that I only watch live sports on, right? and I watch Bravo and HGTV. Yeah, and uh, and the Food Network. How could we get that? Pop? Package. You can't, and they do that on purpose. Sure. Uh, sure. 80 bucks. Okay. Now listen. 80 bucks for the entire thing. And I, I'm going to be, I'm gonna it, be real with being able to travel with this shit I and know. watch it on your phone for free or on any smart TV, wherever the fuck I go, Airbnb and all that shit. Like, dude, that, that 80, I will ha happily pay that. And I can't believe it. So I'm not, I'm not cutting the fucking cord. Time Warner and all those garbage artists. Sure, but we're happy enough with Dish that we will pay the same amount that it would be to cut the cord. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, if they were a nightmare, it'd be like, well, it's the same amount. But even then, weather goes out, right? Mm -hmm. It's going to knock out your apps. Sure. Internet goes down. Sure. 
uh, or if like 90 other people are using internet in your house, which is what it is. Yeah. If everybody's got a smart TV, then you've got to have faster internet and all that other bullshit. So, eh, I, I'll, I'll stick with Dish for now. Congratulations. You got me for another year yesterday on that phone call. Good job, Dish. Yeah. But we like Dish. We've always been a we do. Dish advocate. And we got some other products we like. First Ooh. and foremost, ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. Man, if you're not sleeping on a ghost bed mattress, are you really living? Ask you yourself really that. Sleeping? Are yeah. you really living? Or are you really sleeping? Um, if, uh, not if, but when, when everybody storms uh, Area 51, I highly suggest you bring over a fucking mattress with you to carry that alien body out of there. Uh, let, it, let, it, let its first time out of the jar, of the formaldehyde jar, be in comfort. Go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros today. Get yourself a mattress before you storm Area 51. If you're military or first responder, 15% off for everybody who is military um, and first responder. Did I just say that? Yes. And for normal people, they must have ended the 4th of July, right? Special. No, they have not. It's still going on. You can still get deals. $100 off a classic, $200 off the ghost locks. Uh, as always, 36 months, pay as you go, no interest program, and they're always giving you something free at the end of it. Uh, last month was a cooling cover. I don't know what it is this month. Um, Got another house in the neighborhood. It's going to be amazing, though. Kids and uh, the guest room. Bango. We're just going down the line. Bango. We're going door to door. We're canvassing, canvassing the neighborhood. Yep. Go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros today and live out all of your fantasies. Next up, we got strikeforceenergy.com. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Shabloinkers. Shabloinkers. I put a little in here. Put Had a little to. ridge in here. Uh, Had this to. Is full of Jameson. Jameson and st- how's that? At one. I'm a big fan of Jameson. So. No, I mean, uh, and Strike Force. Oh, uh, it's good. Uh, look, it, just it, a little dab, a little lemon. Anything that keeps me up, I'm good to go. Sure. Uh, a little dab will do you. It's not their slogan, but it should be. Uh, <laughs> go to StrikeForceEnergy.com. Get yourself a 10 pack, a 40 pack, or a 750 milliliter bottle. Four amazing flavors lemon, grape, orange, and a ridge. Uh, beautiful, beautiful artwork. An amazing product. They shipped everywhere in the entire world. No carbs, no sugars. No fats, no f- no calories, no fun. <laughs> I'm kidding. You do have fun with this. It lasts longer than five-hour energy. They ship everywhere in the entire world. Use the promo code REVOLUTION for 20% off at StrikeForceEnergy.com. Last but not least, this is what you came for. StraightRazors.com. Ooh, that's a clean cut. Smooth. Oh, you right. Oh, Oh, that was a different noise out of your mouth. Just uh, got a little cut in the throat. Yikes. No bigs. No Uh, bigs. Straight razor. Anything you need to be a groomed man, which I'm into the beard. I'm into facial hair, seriously. But why not keep it a little bit groomed? And guys, if you are going to be kissing some other guys or ladies... You do need a uh, beard oil. Now, that will make it um, a little bit softer for your guy or gal. Yeah. Yeah, it will be. Um, Look, everyone, you need this in your life. And smolder, you're going to smell good. You're not going to, you know, rough up the face of your guy or gal. No. Again, fine with either one. Yeah. And if it's two guys with beards, you really, really need the oil because now that can... Get a little rough, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No pun intended or (laughs) intended. Chipping from the rough, right? Oh, boy. If if you're a pregnant woman in this life. And uh, and not that. So I was trying to like. You need to shave that bush. I was just trying to keep talking until the end of that. Um, So no, we are going to keep keep that that bush Mm -hmm. uh, trimmed. Right. Because uh, that's one thing that gets away from people, you know, when you're pregnant. Um, so yep. grab that lucky guy in your so life. Silly us, right? And uh, shave up. Mm-hmm. Shave up. Uh, How dare us. For the universe. Go to straightrazors.com. Type in the promo code REVOLUTION for 20% off. That's a big, big savings there, Jabes. Massive savings there. And what else? We've only got a couple days 
to get your signed signed copy of thank you for my service yes on thank you for my service.com we keep uh, getting pictures of him of matt signing, Best signing he's, like, he's been signing thousands of these yeah he's um, like still going still yep, going yep but it's, uh it is here kids uh books coming next month it's gonna come at you like a hurricane um and it's gonna be in your face and eyeballs soon so get it signed um it's a once in a lifetime thing it's um, just kind of cool yeah you know yeah hardback uh, signed copy i mean real hang hard, on to that real hardback hang on to that because it could be worse some people call it a real hardback you know mm-hmm. emphasize the, the thing real do we have a crime corner today we do are we doing it let's do it now wow who cares wow. crime corner crime corner <laughs> All right, this is brought to us by Detective, let me check, sorry, Mike Comedy. Ah, Michael that's, Martinez. A, that's an interesting last name. I guess he, you know, he's, if you're bold enough. Maybe he's a comedian. Call your, mm, I would hope so, right? Mike Comedy? I Mike like it. Comedy. I like it. What's his name? Michael Martinez. Michael uh, Martinez. He is a comedian. Okay. Is he it, is a comedian, yep. Is he, is he and at? he's got a decent following, huh? Is he at Mike Comedy? Um, What's his uh, it's Instagram? So it's Mike dash uh, comedy underscore underscore comedy. Great. Follow him then. Give him a give him a follow. OK, Mike, I just followed you. I was forced to follow you, but I wanted to. Boom. There you go. I wanted to. <laughs> anyway. Oh, yeah. So he he sent me this. Um, a Missouri suspect was hiding from police and a loud fart gave him away. Mm. You know I love a little yeah, bit yeah. of fart humor, yeah, huh? Yeah, a little potty talk. A little potty talk. I'm Midday. such a fan. The main thing about this story is how the um, sheriff's department handled it via tweet. Sure. Um, <laughs> law enforcement officers in Missouri managed to capture a man wanted for possession of controlled substances after he gave away his position in an unorthodox way. Yeah, he did. Cheeks spread. He farted loudly, or at least with enough volume to get the attention of the police officers looking for him. Embarrassing, huh? Yeah. For everyone, I feel like. This story, um, you know, should embarrass all of us, right? I think so. If you've got a felony warrant for your arrest, the cops are looking for you, and you pass gas so loud, it gives up your hiding spot. So, um... We're all doomed. Yeah, they sniffed him out. So they kind of the yep. the <laughs> I was waiting for that one. There, there's a lot of them. Yeah. So, so the the Liberty Police Department was surprised to see this incident slip out. Ah. Which stinks for the arrestee. <laughs> More or no? Keep Fortun- them coming. Fortunately, Keep no coming. one was injured during the arrest. Okay. Sure, sure, sure. Um, the city also w- thanked w- the sheriff's department they? for airing out a wanted person's dirty laundry and fanning the flame. Yeah, you bet. You bet. Can I'm I stop. Uh, can, can I back it up a second? You said uh, they were. He was uninjured, right? Or people were un- uninjured? No one was injured. Yeah, in the arrest. How how would they ex- expect to be injured? Um, like if you, they're just saying like there, it wasn't a thing where he ran and they had to catch him. It was pretty, uh, you know, he farted and they caught him. Right. But who would, who would have been, oh, so, you know, when you arrest someone, a lot of times when you're looking for a wanted person, there will be a, a running uh, situation. Cops maybe hit some kind of fight. Uh, I didn't know. I didn't know how, uh, uh, how loud it was. To oh, be, that, that, that if he got like, injured, uh, oh, no, if he oh, did, oh. or their Just hearing you know, bursted, his, yeah, they went his, deaf. His butthole was yep. fine after yeah, yeah, the yeah, fart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that um, what you were wondering? That's what I was really uh, curious about. Because if if he needed uh, rectal stitches, mm-hmm. then no, did they didn't mention anything about? They didn't that. say anything yeah. about that. No, uh, no, 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 no. It was kind of just a little bit of light fart um, puns and humor from the police department, though, which I think is. Kind of funny. Was it on their Twitter? Yeah. Man. The Liberty Police Department wrote in a post on Twitter. Fortunately, no one was injured during the rest. And uh, the incident, they were surprised to see the incident slip out, which stinks for the arrestee. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they have got a little, you know, 
sense of humor. Um, I'm a big uh, fan. I'm a big fan of that. Uh, a lot of people also sent in this article, by the way, about uh, your Chinese coin thing coming true. Okay. Is that real? Yep. Uh, Recently. I get them all the time. It happens. I'm telling you guys. Happens all the time. Where was this one? Was it the Singapore one? Man, no. This was at, uh, it's, this had departed through Atlanta. Okay, it but it was to Boston, a... To Baltimore. It was some kind of Asian lady. Don't know. It was. Don't know. It I, was. I'll tell you right now. I've been to Atlanta's airport numerous times, obviously, having lived there. Sure, but it, sure. And they don't let you out on the runway there. So I don't know how she would have done that. Right. They find a way. Yeah. No, they Blatant find disregard. A way. They will find a way. They will just walk <laughs> out. Oh, oh, they'll just walk out onto the thing. And somehow they just let them do it. Yeah. Good rock. Strange. Oh. Good rock. Okay, good rock. Now we're fucking grounded for two hours. Yeah. Because of your fucking good rock bullshit. <laughs> How do you not know that? Blatant disregard. I mean, blinders on. Literally blinders they wear. You know those visors? Yeah. The long, I mean, they wear blinders like a horse because it's blatant disregard for everyone else. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, Some I, of them. I get it. So they, they must have figured out a way Some of them. to get down to the tarmac. Uh, to get those coins in there. But yeah, that thing was fucking scary. The guy who was You sitting- know what you can do? You know, like, um, you know, like right before you're about to get on, there's like this little, right? The air, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. yeah, there's a gap. You could do that. That'd be a really long toss. Look, I'm just saying. Yeah. Eh, look, I, I, I don't, I don't know how You're not how a scientist, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Throw but, these, these things. Go but, ahead. Uh, yeah, that, 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 that shook out. That really went yeah, down. There yeah, was a oh, yes, guy constantly. who was sitting next to the wing on the plane in the air. And he's got footage of it on his cell phone. It is the craziest shit of all time. It reminded me of the Twilight Zone movie where the, the, the fucking little alien. And she like looked, the ah, Asian like looks up. And it's just Good like, rock. bashing the engine. Cool. That's how crazy it looked. Um, there's another crazy story that, that came in uh, about this man in Texas. Who got eaten by his own dogs? Are we doing crime? Is this a crime corner? This is not a crime corner at all. This, this is, is a this is a brand new story that just happened right now. He got eaten by his dogs. Got eaten by his own dogs. Um, and they couldn't even get close to his property. He was in a he lived in a trailer park. Not that that's a huge surprise, but sure. uh, uh, they found eighteen aggressive dogs on the on the property, and the family went to check on this guy because they hadn't heard from him in a while. But they couldn't get close to the trailer because of the fucking dogs. They ended up calling the police. And they, they flew a fucking drone over because of the dogs, man. So what happened? He was dead already and they ate him? Or, I mean, you don't know. I don't know. This is, this is breaking right now. But uh, Ooh. yikes. Can they found some of his bones out in the yard. <laughs> yeah. 18 okay. dogs is a lot. Yeah. 16 were seized. Whew. Man, and I'm looking at this. I'm looking at this trailer right now. I don't. Oh, boy. This is. How many dogs? You're looking, at, you're looking at one of those. It's not even a full trailer. This is like one of those half campers that's attached to like a, a pickup truck. Oh. Ooh. And it's got a piece of tarp over it. Uh-huh. And uh-huh. he had fenced off an area around that. And that was where he was living with these dogs. Um, boy, that is fucking intense, man. So they don't know if, if he died first or the dogs yeah. killed him yeah. or, you know, they consumed him after whatever it I'm happens. I guess after. I'm going to hope. Yeah. After. I don't know, man. Uh, what, l- just looking at these conditions, I could see the dogs just saying, fuck you. We're all done with this. They were all put down, but oh, okay. it, it does look like a better life than whatever they were living in this <laughs> thing right here. Um, this photo, if you're able to pull this up, is crazy. Where, I mean, the man clearly took the time to put up a fence around this half camper, right? It's not like a willy-nilly fence, right? It's not like right. barbed wire and, and uh, you know, kite sticks. Sure. Like, this is a real fucking oh, fence. Oh, Lord. Yeah. 
Yeah, okay. you're welcome. Okay. Oh. Okay. Now, yeah, yeah. So. All right. Well. Man, that is a, a, a crazy story that popped up right now. When you have to fly a drone in just to see if a dude's alive yeah. oh, because of his ra- dogs. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Man, that's Mm-mm. amazing. That's like a Home Depot shed. Yeah, I know. It's a Home Depot shed that they have out in the parking lot, you know? Yep. Mm. Yep. Mm. Uh, and then I want to give an update on uh, Branson. Branson's starting to test out that rocket. Oh. Yeah. They got him in a, do you see him in a, spa, in a space suit? No. <laughs> oh, it's great. It's great with his head in the space. He's mm-hmm. in a full fucking space suit and his head's out there, just Richard Branson's head. Mm. God, it's great. It is, it, I mean, it's amazing. Testing Everything he's doing rocket. right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is, is crazy. If, if, you <laughs> if you're able to see Branson in a space suit, it's what dreams are made of. That is the pinnacle of rich right there. That's it. You did it. You fucking built yeah. a spaceship, dude. And you're going to go to space. And, and they, they put you in a spacesuit and you're smiling. Like uh, Ross Perot just passed away, right? Yes. 89 years old. Guy sure. was a billionaire. Sure. It, it's, it was kind of strange because this happened last night. There was no fanfare for it, right? Yeah. When Branson dies, though, oh. you're going to be able to pull up the craziest fucking photos of all time and be like, Dude, man, this guy fucking lived, brother. He's a he's a fucking astronaut, man. Uh, <laughs> he's so many things. So great. And that's the and it, you can pull it up to be like, this is the answer to life. It really is. If you want to live the best life, you have to be super man. rich. And uh, the Beatles don't know what they're fucking talking about. Yeah. Uh, the other one, the, the other billionaire that I want to talk about is this uh, Epstein guy who got popped for. Uh, these underage chicks. Yeah. Um, not only is that an awful story, but this is, uh, and look, he's a piece of shit and deserves everything he's going to get. Absolutely. Obviously. Um, but this was, this is in your wheelhouse. Um, and this is the reason why I bring it up. Uh, this case of all the sex trafficking charges and all mm-hmm. this shit, this case was cold for a, a long time. Um, it was actually a Miami Herald investigative reporter who found this. Like, Finally, there's some old school street justice where you're like, all right, cool, man. Like journalism, like you're not using it just to fucking bash and, Trump in. Everywhere. And, uh, you know, speaking truth to power, basically where it's like he was hiding in plain sight. Billionaire like. Because and he was at all the presidential functions. At, that's what I'm saying. Everyone. So in order he knew to Trump, go Obama, after, yeah, the Clintons, he knew everybody because when you're that rich. These people don't give a fuck. Like, money's money, and you're taking donors. You're also not in charge of their life, and you don't know what the fuck they are. So before you go, you go and start blaming the Obamas for hanging out oh, with no, them or no, whatever, you have no fucking idea it's who not these people that, are behind yeah. closed doors. Yeah. So, man. And they have the power and money to squash anybody that is going to come forward. So especially as a journalist, if you're going to try and go down this road, you have to know that they may completely turn it on you or something and right. have the money and the ability. So the fact that it actually, I mean, he's actually in jail now. Yeah. And it's like the real kind and yep. not you go to fucking work during the week and go in on the weekends. Like he thought it was going to be. Uh, and then a quick update on the Spacey case since we're there. Um, okay. Because I called this a long time ago. The accuser is now refusing to testify. So this case is going to get tossed. But um, I knew that was going to happen. Why? Because the fucking mom talking about it everywhere felt fucking weird to me. Yeah. He was an adult and it felt fucking weird that your mommy was at every interview, going on every show, the doing, D- the, the, doing the press. The is, is stuck here at this point. So I, yeah. this, is pro- this will probably get tossed. And it sucks. I will say it, will, it sucks if he is just so embarrassed that he doesn't want to do it. Do you know what I mean? Right. That does suck. Or if he's just like, yo. <laughs> yeah. Like, let's just fucking stop this. Like, I don't want to, I don't want to have my face out there connected with this. My mom was more pissed about it than I was. I wonder what happens to him now. Because you, you do have the thing with the fucking younger dudes, like Anthony Rapp and those guys came out. 
What is happens he, to who though? Space? Spacey. Is yeah. he that good that he's able to overcome it? Because th- look, there's a, there's been a, a rumor in town that he's been getting offers for a while now to uh-huh. come back and do shit. Is he that great that he beats this shit is what I wonder. I think if he waits long enough, I think if this gets dropped and he waits long enough, possibly there's other things that have just, I was thinking about the other day that have just kind of disappeared What's the time period? that you're like, remember that? Shit? Yeah. Um, what's the time period? What, I mean, what do you Cause think? Cause Aziz, Aziz, it has Aziz to and be Starry, dropped. by the way, mm-hmm. dropped a Netflix special in the middle of the night yesterday. And I was now like, oh, he, and he, he addresses it. He took his time on his own. I think a lot of people. He should. And, and to me, that was a bullshit thing for him. I think but. that was him just being like embarrassed. And I don't think he can handle any bad. Like I see him being the type of person that can't even handle a bad comment. So I think he took himself out. Right. Because he couldn't handle people saying shit like that about him. And I think he was more pissed off at the world than he was trying to like, you know what I'm saying? Right. And I, because a lot of people came out in his defense of just like, that was a bad date, bro. Like, don't worry. But he was already like so fragile yeah, from he, it. He went away for an entire year. Yeah. And then and, came which back. Which he didn't need to. And I think, no. I mean, the, when you bring that up, people are like, oh yeah, that shit. No. But I think with Spacey, um, who's still having a, Louis CK is still having a little bit of a rough go of it in some communities, but. I think if the case is totally dropped, mm-hmm. you're not OJ. I think that you can Oof. get on the other side of it if you take yourself out of the equation for long enough, right? And you don't come out like Jess- Jesse Smollett and be like, told you, knew it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to just be like, so sorry for this. Sorry, I'm not going to S- say anything. Speaking of OJ, he is everywhere on Twitter now. He did his first podcast. Told you, right? And it's for pay, right? Or is it's behind a paywall? No, he was a guest on oh, somebody else's okay. show. Not ours? Yeah. Well, you said Call you wouldn't him. You wouldn't do it. I, I'm not the only person on this show. Replace me. Yeah. You know what I mean? He can have this <laughs> chair. <laughs> Alec will be fine with it. Jamie, you'll be, you'll be cool with a murderer being here, right? Yeah. Eh, I think see? Jamie would be fine. Oh, with, I think our producer with Jamie it. would be fine with Alec, I don't think you... Would you be fine with... OJ Simpson being on the no. Yeah. So me and Alec will take the day off and you guys just have a ball with OJ. Okay. I have said he scares the shit out of me. We would sell some uh, limited t-shirts for that event at forward backslash 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 forward slash OJ. Um, nailed it. And uh, nailed it. Boom blammo. Boom blammo. <laughs> Uh, no, I, people were hitting me up all weekend about this. They were like, Hey man, OJ did a podcast. Like, would you get him on yours? I would, I would push it though. And I would ask him, Hey man, I really appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule to, you know, I know you're looking for the real killers Mm -hmm. to be here. I wonder if he would answer that. I think it would go. I think he's the type of person and what I've seen from interviews that goes right over his head. I think you could do stuff like that. And he'll, will if you don't, if you make it serious. Yeah, he'll go. He'll go serious with it. Uh, you know, he is unaware so of how he comes off. Here's the weird thing about his account. OK, um, I just pulled it up in front of me. It's uh, if you're if you're on Twitter, it's uh, at the real OJ 32. It's not verified. It is not yet to be verified by Twitter. And I wonder why. Because it's OJ. Still, he's. Like, they've got some shitty people verified I think it's on widely Twitter. known that he's a murderer, right? I'm fucking verified. <laughs> like, I've been for years. Yeah, yeah, But, like, How many I'm people surprised. have you murdered? Do you know what I mean? Like, well, he's a widely known. It's one of those things that as long as OJ is alive, we just need to deal with him until he fucking dies. And then we can all be like, remember that fucking crazy person we had to just pretend didn't murder people? So he's got currently, as of, as of uh, today's show, 852,000 followers, uh, which is crazy to me. That's good. Um, th- here, here's the thing. So he posted a video yesterday for his birthday. He's 72 years old. And uh, he said, hey, Twitter world, this is OJ. Obviously, we know who that is. You could probably stop with that intro. Yeah. We don't need that anymore. It's I'm celebrating my 33rd annual 39th birthday. Still got it. Still got those comedy chops. God. 
If you loved him in all of uh, the Naked Guns, you're going to love him even more now. He's still got those comedy chops uh, at 72. He's and got some getting even to do. He's got some getting even to do. One, two. He's, he, he's doing it live from the golf course, right from the tee box, this video. Mm-hmm. He's living his best life out there. He said, look, you know, I've, I've been through a lot in my life. A lot of people have, you know, you go, on, you go through sunshine and rain. Mm-hmm. He goes, I've been through a few hurricanes. That's what he said. Um, <laughs> but like, that's what I'm saying. He's so unaware of how he comes off. He will go there with you. He's it wishing himself amazing. happy birthday in yes, this video. Yes. Which is yes. incredible. Um, my only hope is that he dies before the Goldman dad. I mean, my God, it would be so sad if he didn't. So, uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. If he outlives all of the Goldman family, it'd be so fucked. Fuck. Um, It'll so be him and Ringo. Here's what I find interesting about people like this. And I don't use this feature very often on Twitter. Um, but some celebrities consider it a power move if they're not following anyone. Oh, okay. If like they, Kanye is yeah, only following yeah, yeah. one person right, and it's Kim, right? They're not, mm-hmm. I don't follow anybody. I don't fucking do this shit or whatever, Asshole, right? Yeah. He's following 12 people. So let's see who OJ follows here. San Francisco 49ers. That's a strange one for me because he didn't play there. Why would he be following them? He's sports Center. Him. That one I understand. He probably watches Sports Center all the time. He's a big football sure. guy. Uh, Twitter support, he's following. <laughs> is, that, is that real? Yeah, that's real. <laughs> Uh, Twitter verified he's following. So clearly he's, so he's trying really wanting he's to wanting to get it. verified. He's wanting but it. He can't. He can't oh, right now. Boy. The PGA tour. I understand that. He plays totally. golf every day. Every day, all day, as far as I'm concerned. Big fan of that. Um Buffalo Bills. Sure. He played for Buffalo. We have a signed uh, OJ Simpson jersey on the Drinking Bros set. He did play for the Buffalo Bills. I get that. The NFL. I understand that, obviously. Big NFL fan. Um, Tim Graham. Now, Tim Graham is the one who did the podcast with him. I'm not too sure who that is, but it said he, he's worked with Stern and some other people. The what? Uh, the guy's name is Tim Graham, the podcast he did. So he's following Tim, Tim Graham. Tim Graham. Yeah. So he's worked with Howard Stern and some other people. I'm not sure who that is. Uh, the other people he's following... USC football, that makes sense. He went to college there. Sure. The Heisman Trophy. He won that. I understand why he's following that. Right. Um, either hopefully he's trying to get back on stage mm-hmm. for the because they have all the Heisman Trophy winners on stage every year. That's I, I never think, gonna happen, OJ. No, I don't think that one's gonna happen, Juice. Um you could probably Buddy, stop following. Like that's them. what I'm saying. Like go uh, away. <laughs> go away. He literally cannot just go away. I think that's what everyone says. It's just like OJ. Just uh, stop it, dude. Justin Simpson, who's his son. And uh, he better be following him. He's in uh, real estate, home investing. Uh, and then his, Justin Simpson's quote is honesty is giving your word, integrity is keeping it. You betcha. You betcha. Nothing makes me laugh harder than this. And the last one is a guy named Malcolm Laverne. Now, Malcolm Laverne in his, you know, because you have your banner picture Mm -hmm. that's separate from your thumbnail, obviously, right? Okay. The banner picture is him laughing with OJ in court. It appears as if he was the lawyer who got him off of, uh, uh, in the, in the, got it, got him, got him parole in the the Nevada case. Because I remember seeing that hearing. It looks like the guy, it's the same dude. I understand that follow. Um, Malcolm is a six time marathon finisher. And his best finish, personal record, 354.28. Um, oh, and he says, in, there it is, in parentheses. And yes, I'm the Juice's lawyer. There it is, Malcolm. I'm going to be realsies, though, uh, on the power play, Malcolm. You got the Juice out of prison. I, I'd probably be looking for you, too, my man. Yeah, it's true. I lo- I look at, even though I'm not a, a fan of the Casey Anthony sitch, dude, everybody's looking for Jose Baez when shit pops off. Her oh, attorney. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah. Man. Uh, but he's in full force. That video got over 2 million views in one day. It's crazy, man. You're able to just to do that shit and then try to resume a normal life underneath it. <coughs> and the Goldmans, they have their podcast. I mean, they're yeah, still... Yeah, what's, what's, uh, the daughter's got one, right? Yeah. So it's, uh, it's... I forget what it's called. I'm sorry. But it's... um. 
revealing OJ, something like this. Mm. But you'll, it's top of the charts. Um, Man. If you want me to look for it. But anyway, so, and they just, I mean, they just keep, right? Yeah. Keep going out there. They keep with their like, it's just so sad. It's crazy, And then man. OJ is, is on the golf co- course and doing these podcasts and like, I don't know. Celebrating the 33rd anniversary of his 39th birthday. Um, again, still got it. Still got it, Juice. Oh, God. Completely oblivious to all of it and whatever. And Confronting OJ. Oh, that's what it's called? With Kim Goldman, yeah. Okay. Um, anyways. Man, that's crazy. Uh, I don't that know is... what they expect to get from it, but. I don't either. Keeping it out there. I guess you just got to keep it. Anytime that he comes out and tries to do something, they need to counteract it because they just can't be like, no, you cannot be on the golf course, verified, doing podcasts. Like, it just must kill him. I don't know. I, I don't know. I mean, it's, dude, he, he needs it. He needs it. And he's, he's back, dude. He's doing it. And he's still, he's still got it. Have you tried that number since he's been out or no? No, I, now I'm, I'm worried to use it because you think you might answer. And then what you say, Hey, <sighs> I have a podcast. Those, what would be the worst thing that would happen? He would kill you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, and it's dab you to death. I mean, what's the worst thing that OJ can do, right? It, it, Hit I, you with the golf club. Yeah. I think, um, I think Jamie, if he does, if he does come on the show and he does kill me, we could put this video up at forward backslash backslash. Um. No, we got that joke. We got that joke before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I, look. Try it. Yeah, we'll, we'll give him a go. We'll, maybe we'll, we'll we'll plug in next time and give him a call. Call I have his, him on. I, I have his old number. On, yeah, I have his old number. Um, we did it live on. Call him on, on another show. Drinks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did it live on another show. It was fucking insane. Uh, I also called Steven Seagal. Oh, that was fun. Two months ago, live on Drinking Bros, and that was crazy. He answered. He answered. He answered live on air, and uh, man, shit got wild. Uh, anyways, let's get to the revolutionary figure of the day, shall we? We shall. Uh, this one's going out to uh, William Brazel. Um, on June 14th, 1947, Mr. William Brazel, a foreman working on the Foster homestead, noticed clusters of debris approximately 30 miles north of Roswell, New Mexico. Yeah. Uh, so, Ew. was he the first one to find uh, an alien on this planet and their ship? Nope. Probably. Not at all. Probably. Still haven't. So, I want to give him the props that he deserves. Sure. And uh, again, I want to salute him when we pull that body out of Area 51 yeah. and really get uh, everybody ramped up for this. Again, we're going to Vegas that night. So,. That party on September 20th is going to be massive. Sure. Absolutely fucking mm. massive. Mm. Mm. Um, part of me is like now that I'm really thinking this out loud, it uh, should be a little cooler in the year. So maybe we do an oh, outdoor perfect. pool party I with mean, that thing. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Rehab, maybe? Ah, be great. <laughs> is rehab outside. DJ no. Pauly D. I don't know anything about clubs and. Let's Vegas. get him. Let's get that alien wet, dude. Let's. It's been. It's been about uh, 60 years now. 70. It's been 72 years since that alien was captured. Let's put him in some water. Let's put him on a pizza float. One of those slices of pizza Ooh, wraps. There we go. And then just get him out in the kind middle of, of the water. Him, yeah. Our aliens are back. We're coming for him. Let's see them aliens. Hashtag let's see them aliens. Uh, for Jesse Wiseman, a.k.a. The Jables, I am Ross Patterson. This is the revolution. Sign up on Facebook and uh, and come with us to see those aliens on September twentieth. Good night, everyone. Good night.